Uh, my name is Lee Thorne, aka Dax79 Cosplay, or just Dax79. I'm a cosplayer. I build costumes from materials such as foam, cardboard, plastics. A lot of these materials I'll find in skips, or things that are getting thrown away. I like to try and use recycled stuff as much as possible for this kind of thing. At the moment, I'm building a power loader, or P5000 as they're called, from the film Aliens, which is 1986. I'm trying to do it at a one-to-one -one scale, which has very rarely been done. As far as I know, this is the only one one-to-one -one scale that can go to a Comic-Con event that's actually been in the UK. So once I've built these costumes, I like to take them to events. The main event I take them to has been the MCM London Comic-Con, uh, which is in London at the Excel Centre. The first time I went to Comic-Con was in 2014. And as I was going, I thought, well, you know what? Let's show Robocop off, and I entered the Masquerade, which is the big competition that takes place on the main stage. And it's also live streamed around the world. So it's a bit like a football match for, for geeks. Uh, there'll be people all around the world watching it, which is quite a nice feeling. I went up on stage, I did the performance piece, and the audio that you hear in the background, all the stuff, that was all cut and edited by myself. I simply asked them to put the correct lighting on. So I asked for sort of a light that would deliberately bounce off the EVA foam suit so it looked more metal-like. When I came off stage after the performance piece, I thought, that, that's my, my work here is done. I had loads of people coming up to me and saying, you've got to get up there, you've got to get up there, Dax. You've won. I sort of had to robocop my way up some steps, which was a lot of hard work, and I got up there to find that I'd won first place in the parade. In my first Comic-Con event, and I'm walking away with a trophy and some goodies. It's definitely been a highlight. A big part of it is I want to build it, get it looking good, get it to Comic-Con, and hopefully, get a placement somewhere in the line. Back in 2014, I was working at Holia, which is a, a school here in the Channel Islands. And it was the same time where Robocop had been going to the Comic-Con for its first outing. I was asked, would you bring Robocop in and go up on stage and do your performance piece that won the award? The great thing was none of the kids knew about this. So they were all dressed in their costumes and it was great fun. I've been doing that ever sort of since. When I left Holia, I moved to FCJ Primary School. What I've been doing is I've been taking in my cosplays for different events. Iron Man, Mark One, from the Marvel film, uh, for different events, World Book Day and other things, depending on the theme. Like the last birthday that was at school, there was a couple of boys that had their birthday on the same day. They were both massive Ghostbuster fans, and the new film, Afterlife, just come out. I turned up with my, my homemade costume. That went down really well. The children absolutely love cosplay. This all really started uh, when I was a child. My mother mainly was uh, on stage. We did, she did a lot of shows. She was in Gilbert and Sullivan groups. And there was always costumes getting made in the dining room. And whenever there was a Halloween, my mum would be making the costumes out of stuff. Whenever we turned up at an event, it felt like a bit more love had gone into it because it had been made by my mum. I've always kind of loved that side of stuff. Back in the 80s and early 90s, geeks weren't cool back then. Childhood wasn't fantastic. What I found was building costumes and building things was a little bit of escapism. If you ever saw a TV series called Quantum Leap, I loved the idea that Sam Beckett could jump in and out of bodies and be someone different. And that kind of really hit home as a child because I didn't want to be me a lot of the time. It was a lot of hard work. Finish school and have to find ways of getting home. I missed a lot of lessons because I had to plan how to get out of school, how to get home. I had to find routes and once the bullies found routes that I was taking, I'd have to find other routes, and it was, it was a lot of hard work. I'm a big Silent Hill fan. Silent Hill came out in 1999. If you don't know what Silent Hill is, it's a computer game. It was out on the PS1. Back in 1999, I played it, and I loved it. It inspired me a lot. I started then writing scripts for short films and feature films, even then, because I just loved the environment. In 2001, Silent Hill 2 came out on the PS2 and the PC. And this introduced me to a character which I absolutely loved. Uh, he's called Red Pyramid. And this character 
had so many hidden meanings within him. The artwork was amazing, the style was amazing, the feeling, everything about this character was amazing. And I always wanted to build that as a cosplay. Then other games came out, and then Silent Hill then went into the film world, and in 2006, Silent Hill came out, the movie. And the movie by Christopher Gaines, probably the best film adaptation of a computer game. But what they did do is they redesigned Red Pyramid. And I remember I worked at Cineworld at the time, and I, I actually put the film together, 35mm film, bung that film on screen one that night, grabbed some popcorn and watched it on my own in the screen before it was released. And this is when I just started my YouTube channel. I decided to set up some cameras and film my build of this pyramid head costume. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just making it up as I went. So other people could make them as well. And I remember posting it. And then I came back and it suddenly had loads of hits. And then I was getting messages from everywhere. All these people were contacting me and I thought, wow, I was connecting. In the past I was using cosplay as an escapism, but now I was actually starting to find my tribe, as it were. I was finding people and I'm still friends with some of these people online, never met them. All because I made this video. I started making more videos for other costumes and people would contact me still and then send me pictures of their, their built costumes. And then I decided I really have to make Red Pyramid, the one from the Silent Hill 2 computer game, the one with the big panels. Then COVID hit and uh, I'd built this amazing costume but I couldn't take him out anywhere. I decided to write a script and I co-directed it and we made a film called Silent Hill, Road of Guilt. A Red Pyramid gets to play the big bad. And uh, he was up against James Sutherland, another cosplay of mine, which a friend of mine and a fellow actor, Matt Perkins, was wearing the James costume. But all the props, like um, his bar and, and Pyramid Head's great knife and all these, all made by myself. So this film that was made as just a cosplay film originally, we entered it in some festivals, and it's actually doing really well in the film festival season for 2022. It's been officially selected for multiple competitions and it's even been nominated for awards such as Best Horror Short and uh, Best Visual Effects, etc. We filmed a little short called The Ghostbuster with a costume. And the idea there was to try and promote what we could do with costumes. So the master plan for Dax 9 cosplay. Well, I've got to get this power loader built and enter him into London, into one of the Comic-Cons. Yeah, I could be 95 and still be Master Chief. And that's the amazing thing about cosplay. You can always be anything you want 